Hey, horror fans, once again, it's the Horror Miser Money Team. Today we're going to review a Japanese horror movie called Audition. Now, my, uh, once again, my good friend Adam Racer from Screams That Films That Make Me Scream uh, actually uh, put up a post on our group on Killer Flicks, asked myself, uh, Lee McCoy from Drum Dums, uh, Cody Leach, and Zach Null to uh, review this film, watch it and review it. And I said, of course, if I can find it, I'll go ahead and watch it and I'll review it. So I actually watched Audition last night. So Adam Racer, here is my review for you and, of course, all my horror fans of the Japanese horror film Audition. Now, as I stated before, uh, Audition is a 1999 Japanese horror film. Uh, it's based upon a novel of the same name and is directed by uh, Tax Taksiki Meek. Meek? I have pronounced, I hope I'm pronouncing these, these names going to be kind of hard for me to pronounce because I'm not good at pronouncing Japanese names, but I'll try to pronounce them. Uh, it stars Ryu Ishibasha and Iyu Shina. Uh, the premise is very simple. Uh, a man, uh, after his wife has passed for seven years, decides to put on a fake audition to pick a girl to be his uh, new wife. Now, uh, they date. Everything seems to go well, but obviously there's something going on about this girl's dark past. And uh, we find out that she is not what she seems to be. And uh, that's basically the premise is of Audition. Now, we have a guy by the name of Awenama. I believe I pronounced this right. Right, That's what the uh, character's name, Ryo, plays. He is a middle-aged widower uh, of seven years, and uh, he is urged by his 17-year-old son, uh, Shingitu, uh, to begin dating again. Uh, obviously, he thinks that his father is that, that he is that he should begin dating again. So he gets his uh, friend, Yukisawa, who is a film producer, to devise a mock audition for some uh, uh, Japanese actresses, and he would pick one to be his wife. Uh, after uh, going through a whole bunch of lists of auditions, he actually gets smitten by a uh, woman by the name of Asami Nakazimi. Yakizimi? <laughs> I'm terrible with these names. Uh, and he selects her. And uh, they begin to date for a while. Uh, but his friend finds out that he can't verify any of the stuff on her resume. And we find out that she's not the girl who she seems to be. And, uh, but he's smitten by this woman, and, uh, we find out later on that she does have some dark secrets, uh, and once we reveal those dark secrets, uh, things do not go well for Ayamama, and that's basically what the premise of this whole story is about. Now, many people who have seen this picture, they say they did not like it because it's a very slow burn, and yes, it is a slow burn, but I actually enjoyed watching this guy. Uh, go through, I mean, go through, I mean, I actually like, enjoyed watching him as he gets smitten by this woman, and I am pretty fascinated by how Japanese culture is so different as it is to American culture when it comes to dating. Uh, that's why I find it fascinating about it. Probably because uh, when I was obviously younger, I actually spent a year in Japan, but that was back in 69. Uh, obviously, the modern probably different today as it was back then in 69, but still some of the old cultures and how Japanese men and women are to each other are totally the, probably the same as it is then as it was back then. Yes, they probably have, women are probably more respected uh, now as they were back then, but Japanese culture is still a male-dominated culture, and when you take a look at how women act and how they approach men and how they date men, uh, I, I actually find it fascinating, and in this movie, I find it fascinating how uh, this woman, uh, what's her name again? Uh, Yami. No, not Yami. Uh, Yashimi. Uh, how she uh, seems very meek and very proper and uh, very understanding, and she very tells a very fascinating story about how she grew up and how she was abused by her um, stepmother. And uh, she wanted she wanted to be a ballet, but she had uh, damaged hips. But I did like how I did like her performance, and I like the guy's performance as well. You can see that they're smitten by each other. But we also know uh, later on, as we see as the movie plays out, she has secrets and very dark secrets, and we don't know what her motivations are. But obviously, whatever happened in her childhood shaped her to be the type of woman that she is today, even for Japanese standards. 
it's very chilling and it's very calculating. And again, like I said, this is a very slow burn picture. Not much happens at all up until probably right around towards the end of the third act in the movie. And even then, uh, it's kind of hard trying to decipher if you're not paying attention. You really do have to listen at, at what they're saying. And even though the, and even though the, the film I watched had, had subtitles, but um, I don't know how it translates well from uh, English to Japanese. But I still find it fascinating. Like I said, I was totally engaged in the performance of the two leads. Uh, they come off very well. They very play well with each other. I like the relationship with his son. That comes up very well. I like the relationship with his friend. His friend is worried about him because it's like, obviously, there's something wrong with this woman. Because whatever she told us, she lied about it. I can't verify anything. But the guy's smitten. He could be lonely, and I don't know if that's how Japanese people are, because the way they date and the way they come off from each other is very well different as opposed to American, uh, how we are in here in America. But um, <clears throat> but I was very pleased. I was very uh, happy with this performance. I was never bored. Uh, I know most people don't like slow burn movies, but if you like, but this perform the performances were very great. I enjoyed the movie very much. And on a skeleton, I'm going to give Audition uh, 8. So, Adam, I thank you for recommending me for seeing this movie. I, w I wonder if my uh, other YouTuber friends, uh, Lee, McCoy, Cody, and Zach, I, uh, will rec I will definitely highly recommend that you see this picture because I think you guys will enjoy it. I don't know if you'll appreciate it like I did, but I did appreciate it, so i really like to thank Adam for recommending me for watching this picture. And I also recommend you, my horror fans. I don't know if you, any of you seen Audition, but I do highly recommend it. And if you have seen it, put your comments down in the comment section and tell me what you thought about Audition. Well, that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. And once again, this is your first time here. Please hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you can become part of the horror experience with me, the horror miser money G. And as always, all my social media links will be down in the description box below as well. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Harmizer Money G. And always remember, horror rules. <laughs>